the way that, that San Diego State wants to play, where the officials allow them to get in the mud, they allowed it to physical up, they want to play in the 50s, I think that allowing that to happen is not a good thing for college basketball, period, because this is the biggest stage the sport's going to be on. These, these are going to be the games that everybody is watching. And what are they going to watch? A bunch of physical dudes where they're basically daring officials to call a foul on every possession. In that game, you're yeah. right. That's not something that is good for and the sport And it could be both watch. games. It could be both games because, you know what, whoever advances is going to try to muck it up out of San Diego State. Yeah, FAU. but I don't think yeah. – but FAU doesn't – They can. Does, they can play. But they just put up 79 right. on Kansas State, right? right? Like, they'll, they'll yep. run. Yep. They'll score. Well, they, they have the guards points. to be able yes. to do it. And even, even really Vlad, even Big Vlad can get up and down the court. He can. He can move. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see. It's the same thing as, like, tennis. Like, when you want to play that style, it is not visually appealing. It works because they, when you dare the officials to make a foul call on every single possession, they're just not going to do it. It's not going to happen. Best, best, best line of the tournament so far is Dusty May after winning in the round of 32 saying, we're going to go watch film on Tennessee and how to play rugby. Yeah. Best line of the yeah, – like, that's, not, that's not a good thing for – like, nobody really cares about Miami. Nobody really cares about Texas, whatever, right? They're just – they're football schools that happen to have a really good basketball season. They just played a thrilling game that was 88-81 to 81 with shot makers, with bucket getters, with the floor spread, with guards all over the floor. They're, down the stretch of that game, last five minutes, there was nobody taller than 6'7". The only They didn't big start guy, anybody bigger than 6'8". The only big guy on the floor – was Norchad O'Meara. The only big guy for Texas Christian Bishop. was, well, down the stretch, it was Dylan Mitchell, oh, yeah. the guy catching all the lobs. Like, that was a thrilling basketball game to watch. San Diego State is going to play close games that might have a tight ending that are miserable to watch. That is not a good thing for basketball. And the way that the game gets officiated allows teams like San Diego State to advance. That's my only problem. I think it's a great story. And the team that had Malachi Flynn, they didn't play that way. They spread it out. No, they, they, they went. Like, right. Malachi Flynn was an NBA point guard. They have different personnel, and this is, this is generally the way San Diego State has played over the last 10, 12 years. You know, I, I hear what you're saying. I understand it. But I also think if you got four teams that are all playing the same way, yeah, it, it, it's fun up and down. Obviously, people like offense more than they like defense. I, I just like, again... I like different styles. I like seeing who's going to be able to control the game and how and no, how, how you're going to be able to game plan to try to try to slow a team down. You know, there's in, nothing wrong with trying to slow. Brian, a team. How about Brian Dutcher's versatility as a coach, though? You just mentioned it, like having offense scoring 90 points. This team having to switch it up, all defensive focus, bigger, stronger, older dudes. Find ways to win. It might not be pretty, but it wins. Mm -hmm. It does stink to watch sometimes, but it wins. Yeah, but like, I just. My issue and my problem is that today's episode is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy, the easiest place to play college basketball pick em, where you can get a little extra sweat during March Madness and win real cash prizes simply by picking player stats in this weekend's games. In pick em, all you do is predict whether a player will go higher or lower on Underdog's projected totals whether that's points rebounds whatever for example if you're like me and you think zach Eady is going to go nuts in this tournament pick higher on his points projection add up to four more picks and if you hit them all you can win 20 times your money on a single game underdog slick mobile app is easy enough that dummies like jeff goodman have even figured it out so go to underdogfantasy.com or download the app and use the code Field F I E L D and underdog will match your deposit up to a hundred bucks. Now is the time to get in on the madness. So remember, underdogfantasy.com promo code field. There was one point in the second half of that game, right? Nine minutes left in the second half. It was a slog. There were three fouls called on that game. There were three fouls in the first 11 minutes of the second half. That's and we had, we had dudes bleeding. We had hook and holds. Yeah. There was, it was physical. There were elbows being thrown. Like that yeah. was, that was two of the toughest teams in college basketball going head to head. Yeah. There were three fouls called. It was not fun to watch. No. It was not visually appealing. And frankly, it wasn't basketball when you play like that. I hear no lies. I that's hear no my lies. that's my biggest issue is that if you're gonna if you're gonna have a, the game played a certain way, Chris Mack went on a rant about this on Twitter after the first weekend. If you're gonna want to call the game a certain way, then do it. Yeah. But don't tell me about freedom of movement and all this stuff. I and mean, this is what you Man, let go. This happens, but and then this you call happens a every year. This happens every year, though. They, they, they have a, a point of emphasis, no flopping, freedom of movement. It works until the middle of January, and that shit goes by the wayside. It happens every year. But 
here's the thing, like, you know going into the tournament, the physical team's going to win 85% of the time. 85% yeah, of the time. You have to be physical. Yeah, you have you to. Have you have to be, be physical, big, you have to be strong, you have to be physical. just a line. It, it just it bothers me when it gets to that level. Yeah, sure. Nobody wants to see, a, again, a rock fight. Nobody wants to see a rock fight where both teams, you know, are combined five of, of, of 30 from three. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, again, I mean, I, I, I think... Like the inflate gate is real. That's all I'll say. It's real. Like everybody's complaining I about don't know. these balls. But right we, now. but we talked about the rims. About, yeah. And then you're gonna put them in a in a in a huge arena. Like, but, but it we could talked get about worse. it too before this game. What does San Diego State do better than almost everybody? Third in the nation, three point yeah. field goal defense. Yep. yep. That was something. It, Creighton was gonna have to make shots. They didn't yeah. make shots. If and they weren't a great. Shots, and they weren't a great shooting team this year. No, they weren't. They That's were right. an average shooter, especially also, for Greg McDermott. Like, I know I'm talking out of both sides of my mouth when I say this, but Creighton missed like 25 layups. They were something like 8 for 23 at the rim. Yep. Ryan Kalkbrenner missed like 4 or 5 on his own that you got to make. Yep. I know you got Nathan Mensa down there, but you got to make those. you got to make them. Yeah, Three I, blocks I, for Mensa. I just Three think blocks. we got to give yeah, credit. A lot more. I think we got to give credit to what San Diego State has done there. And, and it's, you know, obviously first Mountain West Final Four. And, and what they took over and Dutcher. Again, being a longtime assistant who, who didn't know if he'd ever get a shot. Mm -hmm. But part of the reason Steve Fisher st stepped down when he did is because he knew he could give the job to Dutcher. Longtime assistant, you know, at Michigan. You know, to me, in incredible story for Dutcher to be able to get here at this point in his career when, again, people weren't sure he'd ever be a head coach. Well, that's, that's the thing. You kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but San Diego State had a Final Four team in 2020 they were a yeah. two seed in 2020 and COVID shut it down same thing with Dayton Dayton had a number one seed that year right so it's nice to see that coach those fans it's probably not too many of the same players but right. the same program right. and at least that group gets to live vicariously through this group and they get to see right. their team their program yep. you know I'm sure Malachi Splint is celebrating right now He's yeah no be. doubt no doubt because again he didn't get the opportunity and now these kids do and mm -hmm. You know, now the, the, the big question is, again, the, the, the beauty of this is obviously UConn is a heavy favorite, right? Yeah. We know that. But it's not like UConn is so good. 